Thanks for coming, everybody. RHA uh, is new to the Israeli market. Um, started in 2011, we've sort of carefully built this uh, brand and product branch out to um, hopefully really offer something that doesn't exist quite yet in your market and in many other markets. So um, just the basics, RHA stands for Reed and Heath Acoustics. Uh, it was founded in 2011 in Glasgow, Scotland. And the two founders, Andrew Reed and Lewis Heath, they really saw a, um, a gap in the market between the sort of traditional audio brands that made very good sounding products and the lifestyle brands that um, made good looking products that they didn't maybe sound as good as they could sound. So we thought we'd jump in the middle and focus on uh, true to life sound while at the same time um, really put our design and engineering heritage across. So um, all our products throughout the range you get uh, innovative design, there's um, patented elements to most of our products. Um, the sound being uh, always true to the core of, uh, of everything we do and also the uh, use of high grade materials is, is prevalent throughout the range. Um, all our products uh, come with three year warranty, they are designed and engineered in the UK, um, sort of test, testifying to our uh, commitment to, uh, to quality and to inspiring confidence in the consumer. Um, we know it's a very competitive marketplace, um, in-ear headphones especially in general, there are some established brands, some, some players with uh, you know, 70, 80 years of heritage. We've now been around for six years. Um, yeah, really keep growing and expanding every, uh, every year and uh, really happy to be in Israel and being part of this launch with the iDigital team. So, um, um, so, like I said, in every every part of our range, you also get to try the, the products later on whenever you want to sit down. Um, the product range starts at 299 shekels. Uh, the S500i is a product that uh, we launched last year. Um, it comes with um, an aluminium housing, a microdynamic driver, 6 millimeter driver, meaning it's one of the smallest drivers ever produced. I think was in the world there's only one smaller driver. Um, but you get a very big sound for, uh, for what you're getting there. So this is a product that we really position to compete with the uh, stock earphones that people get with their, with their smartphones. So um, as we are trying to bring a, a high-end experience to a new consumer base, we want to educate the, the new consumers also about um, about what you actually, what your music can actually sound like. So everybody now carries a, a device in their pocket that's capable of high-res audio um, display, and you can. Um, it's really a shame people use equipment that's not adequate to uh, to what it could be. So the S500i really gives you a first entry into high-end audio uh, for for a budget. So um, also three-year warranty. Um, Going up in the range, we then have the uh, MA750i, which is, um, has been hailed as the Aston Martin of headphones by one reviewer, so which is obviously an Aqualab we're very proud of. Um, it's also on the, on the wall of fame at Inner Fidelity, which is a sort of uh, leading online um, headphone testing blog uh, you might be familiar with. Uh, this is the first product that's made from stainless steel, so um, they won't break. I can testify to that. I treat them very badly and uh, they will survive many things. So three year warranty I think is even just uh, putting it at the low end. Um, as you'll see when you test them, all the details are taken care of. The, the jack is um, reinforced with a spring. Um, the splitter is also made of stainless steel. Uh, there's nice little touches like the um, over ear hooks to make sure they stay in place. You get a wide range of accessories with all that with this product as well as all our other products. Um, noise isolating design, so the ear tips creating a seal in your ear blocking out all the other noise. Um, and this is also uh, the first product in the range that's got the high res certification from the Japanese High Res Society, which means that it can it's capable of um, displaying 24-bit music. Um, going up in the range, we use that design of the MA750 to develop our T-Series, and these are really the, the flagship product in our consumer range of, pro, uh, of, of earphones. Uh, winning the Red Dot Design Award in 2015, 
uh, for the T10 and also the T20, these both products, uh, they look almost the same. Uh, the housing design being injection molded stainless steel, uh, very intricate, intricate and uh, ergonomic, um, with a um, fully moldable over ear hook, which is a patented uh, wire that we've designed to make sure to fit any ear. Um, the T10i having a distinctly consumer sounding uh, sound signature, so for people who really enjoy listening to electronic music or hip hop or modern pop music, this is a great, um, a great sounding earphone, it's very detailed and it's relatively warm. Then the T20i, uh, following on from that, has a, um, a much more reference audiophile type signature, so it's, a, it's an earphone that really reveals everything you want in the music. So, if you listen to high quality audio files, to acoustic music, to music with a, with a high dynamic range, then this is really the earphone for you. Um, they're both priced higher, they're obviously, uh, the T10i comes at 999 shekels and the T20i at 1399. But for that you get a real quality piece of audio engineering, um, something very innovative. Both actually come, both products come with a um, uh, adjustable tuning filter set which means you can unscrew the sound pipe and adjust, customize the sound, replace it by something that emphasizes the bass or the treble more. And so we actually built in a passive equalizer in the earphone itself, um, which some people really enjoy it based on your personal preference, based on the music you listen to. You can actually change the acoustic signature of the, of the earphone, which is unique in the, in the, consumer, um, in the consumer product range. Um, so when it comes to what we do in general is, like I said, try and bring this high-end uh, experience to the consumer. We also just launched our first piece of electronics at IFA this year, uh, 2016, a few months ago. A um, product called the DACAMP L1. This is a portable nomadic um, DAC and amplifier, which in a nutshell really takes the audio processing out of your uh, device, takes it into the, uh, our portable device, and does a much better job at it. Um, it is powerful enough to drive any headphone you might have. You might have powerful studio monitors, uh, 250 or 600 ohm headphones or earphones. Um, this device can do it all. And you will, if you test it A to B, compared to plugging your earphone straight into your phone or using the DACAM L1, it's really, uh, I think it's a world of difference you'll find. This also comes with three-year warranty. Um, it handles any sort of digital input you throw at it, uh, any file sizes, file types. It can handle DSD natively for the real audio files among you. Um, it's something that I think is quite impressive. Uh, not every DAC does it. It's a 32-bit DAC. It's fully balanced, so it has the channels separated. Uh, it has a fully balanced out as well, so you can use it as a fully balanced portable rig, which is quite uncommon. So we really try to pack it full of technology um, and make it portable at the same time. So the battery is a 10 hour life, um, which is quite unusual. Um, and yeah, I think you should really try for yourself. Um, so that's the range we're launching. What is the price of the duck? The duck is 2,999 shekels. Yeah. Um, we got all the technology for it. And um, yeah, so that's the, the range we are launching in, um, in Israel today, actually. So that's why we're all here. Um, we've had a couple of great days with the team of uh, Digital. The last few days we've been looking at uh, sort of the Israeli retail landscape and uh, the environment and the, the brands that are already available. And I think there's really a place for RHA to, uh, to grow together with iDigital and, and our other partners. So I really invite you to listen to it. It's a new brand, like uh, Yaron probably touched on the demo cases and these demo units we try to put in as many places as possible. From my point of view, the only way to experience and to sell the product is to put it in people's hands because you will see the difference with what you know when you actually touch the product. Um, because the brand is new, so hopefully you will all be charmed by it and we give it a go, at least maybe test it, review it, um, and, and hopefully buy one in the future. Um, but yeah, um, I think that's it. I'm open to any questions you might have, so uh, thank you all for listening. And I think, uh, yeah, Lachai, I would say, but I don't have a whiskey in my hand. <laughs> thank you, Lachai. Uh, pardon my. Pardon
pardon my ignorance, but uh, Scotland is not known for, uh, the, uh, let's say, uh, high-tech uh, reputation uh, products uh, or stuff like that. Uh, first of all, tell us where did it start from, where did it come from, and uh, if this is going to be a problem for the Israeli consumer who knows the <coughs> Japanese company yeah. and the Chinese, which is... So obviously British design and engineering is one of our USPs, so the Union Jack is on all our packaging. I think Great Britain does have a great heritage when it comes to audio engineering. There's, um, there's a brand called Lynn Audio that's actually from Glasgow, our hometown, that makes very high-end equipment, amplifiers, speakers, streamers and such. There's brands like Bowers & Wilkins, Cambridge Audio, Name Audio, they're all based in Britain. Um, and Obviously, Glasgow used to be used to be called the second city of the empire. It was the engine of the British Empire, so all the engineering there. George I Martin came from England. Sorry. George Martin and the Beatles. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Um, so, it, I mean, what we offer is, is, is distinctly different from the Japanese companies in that sense that it's, uh, yeah, I think the use of materials, the use of design as well. So. Our two founders were as a partnership of uh, an entrepreneur and uh, an, a trained architect. So uh, Lewis Heath, who was the architect, he actually found, he, he was frustrated. He was an audiophile by hobby, but he was an architect by trade, and he was frustrated with the products he found in the market. He didn't think that uh, there was products there that he would want to use himself, and that's how he came up with the design for our initial products, our earphones. Um, then funded by Andrew Reid, his partner, and together RHA became, uh, th that's the result of that partnership, really, the thinking behind not being able to find the earphone you want to use yourself. So that's sort of the story that I might to uh, What about the wireless? The even the iPhone 7? True, that the iPhone 7 was a nice curveball thrown by Apple. Um, I forgot to mention actually that since 2012 we've been partnered with Apple, so our products are available in the Apple Store network uh, globally. And with the uh, advent of the iPhone 7, the uh, headphone jack is not available on the phone anymore, but obviously the phone still comes with an adapter, so you can still use your, your old headphones. With but it the really lowers the quality. Yeah. It, cha yeah, it changes it. But it, it takes the audio processing into the adapter, you're right. Yeah. But, but you can use the DAC because the DAC will accept. The uh, lightning uh, adapt, uh, lightning uh, output. That's a perfect high-end solution for it. To yeah. Use the DAC, so you take the digital out into our DAC cam. Um, we will have some exciting products in our roadmap. So coming soon, if you keep an eye out on our HA blogs and uh, our social, you'll see that uh, there will be some interesting announcements. And yeah, we can't deny the market is moving to wireless, but we've not done that until now because we always want to stay true to our our sound heritage and wireless. Has been, uh, it's been tricky to tackle wireless at a very high level in terms of the sonic signature. So I can guarantee you it will happen, but only when we know, when we think it's RHA quality.